Atrial fibrillation is a very common disease, especially in elderly. Above 60 years of age, 1 to 2 percent has atri they have atrial fibrillation. In this disease, the upper chamber of the heart, which we call as atria, now doesn't beat, but it starts vibrating, and the lower chamber continues to beat. Since the lower chamber continues to beat, usually there is no threat to life. But because the upper chamber is now vibrating rather than beating, this chance that the clot can form and this clot could go to brain and they could sustain a major stroke or paralysis. Now all of us realize this is a very serious condition and undetected this leads to a, a major stroke. Stroke produced by atrial fibrillation are more dangerous than the, uh, the other strokes. They are more deadly, they uh, you know, take more life and also the residual damage is much higher. So to prevent this, there are blood thinners which are given which we call as oral anticoagulation. Earlier there were drugs called warfarin or acitrom. Now there are newer drugs which are uh, called direct oral inhibitor which are recommended for patients with atrial fibrillation. Left atrial appendage closure is a procedure which is done like angiogram where we go from the groin, we use the femoral vein and with that we read the right atrium and make a septal puncture and then we will go to the left atrium. Majority of the clot in atrial fibrillation actually come from one area in left atrium which is called the left atrial appendage. This structure is like appendix, it does not have a normal physiological function but it can produce lots of harm especially in atrial fibrillation. So we close off this area using a device. Now there are two devices which are approved in India for uh, this procedure. Now who should undergo this uh, procedure? It is probably uh, atrial fibrillation patient who cannot take anticoagulation for whatever reason, they have ulcer, they have bleeding tendencies or they tend to fall repeatedly or they have renal failure and uh, liver problems. So these are the people who are generally not taking or very elderly who are not taking, they would be ideal candidate for this procedure. This is also a good procedure for people who take other blood thinners along with these blood thinner when we add a newer one more blood thinner, the risk of bleeding would go very high up. It is good for people who, um, who actually has already had a bleed uh, in their brain, uh, so they are very scared to take now uh, blood thinner, but if they do not uh, take they could be subjecting themselves to one more uh, stroke. It can also be considered as an alternative to anticoagulation in select patients where uh, uh, they, are, they have reservation uh, towards uh, anticoagulation. So it is very important for people to recognize the symptom. Any chest pain, any discomfort, especially with sweating, whatever age, it is important that they seek a medical attention find out that there is a, uh, whether, uh, whether it, there is a heart attack and if it is heart attack, it is very important that we treat it immediately. To do this, most hospitals including ours, we have 24-7 cath lab facilities. Most of the time when patient reach uh, our uh, hospital, we are able to do angioplasty in uh, uh, 20 to 25 minutes and that is what is needed to prevent damage and recover as much heart muscle as uh, possible.